Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Okey. Kita jumpa lagi uh, lesson 04 week 5 part 2. Alright. Continue with uh, general functions and eh, using NVLs. Uh, this is what we call as a null functions eh how to solve eh, the null function using the NVL functions. Okay. So let's move on. Alright, so for the general functions, the following function with any data types and pertain to using null. Okay, so when we talk about any data types, mean that all the data types eh, like uh, date, time, uh, dates, time, number, character, and so on. Eh, you can use this general functions uh, NVL for all the data types. Okay, so we have uh, four general functions here. NVL, NVL2, null if, coelts. Alright, so we move one by one. So let's say, for example, eh, NVLs eh, convert a null value to an actual value. Okay, using these functions. NVL in bracket, parenthesis, expression 1, comma, expression 2. Eh. The description is to convert a null value to an actual value. Okay. Go to the number number two. Later we will uh, see uh, the example. Yeah. Okay, NVL two. If expressions is not null. Okay, is expression one. Okay, in NVL two have three expression one, two and three. One, two and three. If expression one is not null, expression one is not null. All right. NVL return expression two. Okay, NVL two will return expression two. If expression 1 is null, if null, the NVL will return expression uh, null, uh, return expression number 3. Okay, so I repeat again. Is, if expression is null, okay, if expression 1 is null, NVL 2 will return expression 2. Okay, if expression 1 is null, okay, NVL2 will return expression 3. Uh, okay, so null and also not, not null. Okay, listen carefully. Later we will uh, look into the example and we turn back into this uh, description. Okay, null if compares two expressions and return null if they are equals. Compare two expression and return null if they are equals. Return the first expression if they are not equal. Okay. So for the null if we have only two expression, expression one and also expression number number two. Okay, compare these two expression. Okay, this null if will return null if they are equal. Meaning that if let's say expression one is one, expression two is also one. So this is considered equal. So it will return expression the first expression. Meaning that it will return the expression number one here. Okay. If they are not, uh, it returns the first expression if they are not equal. Okay, if they are equal, they will return null. Okay, if they are equal, they will return a null. Okay, I repeat again. Okay, compare to expressions and return null if they are equal. If let's say this is one and this is also one, this is considered equal, so they will return null. If, let's say, returns the first expressions if they are not equal. If, let's say here, for example, expression 1 is 1, expression 2 is 2, this is not equal. Okay, tak sama. So, it will return expression number 1. Uh, so, this is uh, null if. Okay, null if functions. Okay. The next one is called else. Return the first non-null expression in the expression list. Uh, return the first non-null expression in the expression list. Okay, so if we look carefully here, expression n. So there's no limit. There may be expression 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 okay, until uh, finish. Okay, if the expressions, the first non-null expression in the list. Okay, return the first non-null expression in the list. If let's say this is null, it will not return here. The next expression is null. It will not uh, return the expression number 2. Then expression number 3 is not null. Okay, uh, not null. So it will return expression number 3. So that's what uh, it means by 
or else okay so we move to the uh, example okay so for example here all right to convert eh, the first one nvl to convert a null value to an actual value use the nvl function okay data type that can be used are date character and also number any data types okay data type must match nvl function okay let's say for example we have nvl here so this is expression number one this is expression number two okay so if let's say in commission pct there is a null here okay the null will be converted into the actual value the actual value is zero so all the nulls in the commission pct will be converted into a zero okay uh, so that's what it means right so for example here uh, select a salary last name salary nvl commission pct so commission here if let's say the commission is null and all the null will be written into a z zero so that's why eh, if you look here this is for this expression all the null here will be converted into zero the actual value okay so alan boleh tak kalau kita nak tukar zero to any number let's say for example five six seven and eh, the answer is yes uh, but then please be careful all right if let's say there is a, a calculation all right for this uh, functions uh, okay so we will produce maybe we will produce a difference uh, to point a wrong uh, output later okay so please be careful all right so next okay nvl higher dates okay let's say for example we are using date here okay so if let's say in the higher dates we find any null value so it will convert the null value into this one eh, 0 1 january 97 uh, this is for the date function okay same goes to this one if let's say in the character here job id is a character if there is any null null value in this job id it will convert into no job yet eh? character so the actual value actual value is not only a number it can be date character and also num number okay so because they can use any uh, data type here okay so let's say for example nvl number column okay the actual number is nine so all the null value here will be converted into number nine okay so this is the example here okay so we move to the next example here if let's say salary all right times 12 nvl commission so if let's say there is a null value here all the null value will be converted into zero and this zero will times 12 and also times the salary uh, so please be careful eh? please be careful so uh, don't make any mistake here all right so if you want to put number or any data type please make sure be careful it will uh, put all the uh, the actual number so let's say for ex this example mention that uh, the nvl function is used to convert null values to zero if you put one yes can but maybe the output is different okay you can put any number but the, the output may be different right uh, so please be careful all right so this number has yes, if let's say you just put number automatically this will become zero and when you plus this one okay so salary plus 12 plus plus zero okay something like that okay so move to the next one okay the nvl2 expressions and eh, functions the nvl2 functions examines expression one if expression one is not null then nvl2 function return expression two okay look carefully all right if expression one is null then expression three is written okay move to the uh, example here okay let's say for example uh, select last name cost salary commission pct and vl okay this is expression number one right this is expression number one this is expression number two 
and this is expression number three. One, two, three. Okay, I repeat again. Okay, if let's say uh, you look carefully, eh, for the NVL two, they have three uh, expression. Okay, for the NVL, this is the expression one, two, and three. Okay, so this is expression number one. I repeat again. This is expression number two, and this is expression number three. So from employee where department ID in 50 and also 80. Okay, so what is the output? Okay, if let's say, we go to the number one first. Eh? If let's say, commission PCT is null. Okay, this is null. Eh? Commission PCT is null. Okay, so what happened? This is null. When this, when expression one is null, okay, look carefully here. When expression 1 is null, then expression 3 is written. So, it will return expression 3 only. So, it will return SAL. So, that's why the output here is SAL. Uh, okay. So, next example. Okay. If let's say for this one, this is also null. This is also null. So, expression 1 is null. So, when expression 1 is null, then expression 3 is written. They will return expression number 3. Expression number 3 is a salary. So, this is also seller. SL. SL. Okay. This is character. Eh, SL. Okay. Looks into this example. Okay. So, this example. If, let's say, the commission PCT not null. So, meaning that this is not null. Okay, so when, when expression 1 is not null, then the NVL 2 function return expression number 2. It will return expression number number 2. This is expression number 2. So that is why here the output is SAL plus COMM. SAL plus COMM is expression number number 2. Same goes to this one. Okay, so this is what we call NVL 2 functions. Okay, let's move to the next one. Null if, alright, uh, null if. The null if functions compare two expression. If they are equal, then the function return a null. Okay. If they are not equal, the function return the expression number one. Okay. Listen carefully and look carefully. Eh? So if let's say confused, eh? so uh, looks at the uh, definition here. Okay. Number one. Uh, Null if here. Okay, null if. So, we have two expression. Expression 1 and also expression number 2. So, this is expression 1. This is expression number 2. Okay, what is the... Uh, what is the expressions? Eh? We will need to compare these functions. If, let's say, expression number 1 is equal with the expression number 2. Okay, so... Expression number 1 is uh, 5. Expression number 2 is 4. Okay, 5 and 4 is not equal. So, if there is not equal, if they are not equal, the function return the expression number 1. So, the function will return expression number 1. 5 is actually expression number number 1. Okay, so this is what we call null. Null if okay. Looks into another example here. Okay, so expression uh, first name compared to the last name. Okay, so expression number one is six for the first name. Expression number two is six for the last name. Compare, is it equal? Yes, equal. So what happened if this is equal? All right, this one. Uh, if they are equal, the function return a, a null. If this is equal, the function will return null. Okay, so this is what we call null, null if. Alright, uh, so look into the expression 1 and expression 2 are equal. Okay, same goes to others. Okay, so please uh, look carefully eh, for this example. And if let's say you're confused, eh, read again carefully eh, the descriptions. And slowly eh, compared to this 
uh, this function here. Okay, so move to the next one. Uh, using the call else function, and the, the advantage of the call else functions over the NVM function is the call else function can take multiple alternate value. So multiple value here. And if the first expression is not null, the call else function return that expression. Otherwise, it does a call else of the remaining expression. Okay, uh, so seolah-olah so dia akan cari the first expression yang consider is not null. Eh, kalau dia jumpa yang pertama null, yang kedua null, dia akan move lagi. Eh, dia akan buat lagi yang akan datang. Eh, the third one. So, until dia jumpa not null. If the expression is not null, here, okay, they will stop. Okay, so, expression number two, the expression is the first expression is null, this expression is not null, expression return this expression and the preceding expression are Anal. Okay, not that all the patient must be of the same data type. Okay, alright, so look at the example here. Okay, call else to okay, move this one forward. Okay, select last name, employee ID, commission PCT, manager ID, call else to char, commission, manager ID, and also no commission. Okay, so this is the expression. Okay, the whole expression here. Okay, uh, the red one. Okay, so if let's say, if the manager ID value is not null, it is display. Not null, it is display. Okay, if the manager value is null, then the commission PCT is display. Uh, if the manager ID and commission PCT value are null, then no commission and no manager is display. Okay, so uh, for this example, let's say for example, uh, to char commission PCT, alright. So we know already in the database that king uh, commission for P commission PCT for the king is null, right? So when you found a null, okay, we we'll move to the next to the next none. Okay. If the manager ID value is not null, it is display. Uh, so when it, there is not not null, they will display. If not, they will display the no commission and no manager here. Okay. They will display the the the, the the last one here. If let's say the commission for the manager is not null, it will display the value. Okay, this one has 100, 100 because of they will display the uh, the commission PCT here. Okay, uh, so this is what we call uh, call else function. Okay, so I repeat again uh, <coughs> for the call else man uh, functions if the expression is not null, the coelce function return that expression. Nah, kalau dia tidak, bukan null, dia akan return expression tersebut. Contoh, kalau kata expression satu ni not null, nah, dia akan return yang inilah. Okay. Kalau kata null, dia akan move yang kedua. Dia tengok yang ni null ke tidak. Kalau null, dia akan uh, move to the next one. Kalau not null, dia akan return yang ini. Nah, itu maksud dia. Okay. Nah, it's quite simple jugalah. Tapi cuma kalau and if they say you want to understand properly, eh, you must read carefully. Eh, baca pelan-pelan, check balik, okay, dan sebagainya. Uh, dan nanti kita akan nampak apa dia punya function dia. Okay, so uh, the next one is case and also decode. Uh, is, this one is quite simple. Okay, so for the case, eh, facilitates uh, conditional inquiries by doing works of and if then else. Okay, uh, dia sama macam kita buat programming lah, if then else ni. Okay, so kita boleh gunakan case and also decode. Okay, so for the case, it's quite simple here. Okay, uh, select last name. Okay, select last name. Uh, select, uh, last name, job ID, salary, case, job ID, when IT program, when IT, uh, when job ID is IT program, then the salary is here. Okay. When ST Club, then the salary is here. When SARP, the salary is here. Okay. So, they can double check again. Eh, they can tengok all the salary ni. Eh. So, they can compare. If they say this is the salary, they can tengok the revised salary here. Kalau IT program, they can dapat salary ni. They can revise salary ni. Okay. So, they can gunakan case ataupun else. Okay. Ha, ni dia macam, uh, kalau belajar programming, dia panggil if then else. Okay. Ha, yang ni just untuk display sajalah. Dia tak ada quite apa tu uh, yang heavy punya calculation ok case pun sama cuma case dia nampak simple sikit eh, select last name salary 
Sama juga Cuma dia punya sintek ni ada beza sikit Satu gunakan case Satu lagi tadi gunakan uh, Ok Atas ni kita gunakan case else eh, Yang bawah ni kita gunakan case else juga eh, Tapi yang bawah ni decode Kita gunakan benda yang sama Tapi perkataan dia adalah decode kat sini eh, Tapi dia punya function lebih kurang sama Ok So kalau dia jumpa yang ini Dia akan return Dia akan jumpa yang ini Dia return apa Dia jumpa yang ini Dia return apa So Sama juga macam dekat atas tadi Dia cuma return-return sajalah eh? Yang ini tak ada apa sangat lah Dia cuma untuk display saja, eh? Just for the display Okay Kalau dia jumpa Something like this Dia akan buat Yang ini Kalau dia jumpa yang ini Dia buat yang ini Kalau dia jumpa yang ini Dia buat yang ini Okay So yang ini tak ada apa sangat issue Okay So maybe you all boleh tengok balik eh? Cara dia Maybe quite simple kat sini Okay Untuk decode dan juga Uh, case tadi ni eh okay. uh, so kalau dia jumpa tulisan dia kalau dia jumpa rendah dia akan tulis low kalau dia jumpa salary lebih uh, kurang daripada 1000 dia tulis medium kalau dia jumpa salary dia dia akan tulis good uh, so that's why kat sini akan bergantung kepada salary dia dekat sini okey alright so uh, yang lain tu tak ada apa so kita dah eh, habis kat sini as a summary for The summary kita for this uh, session part 2 kita, We are using NVL function And then also use if then else logic And other conditional expression in the select statement Okay So I think with that eh, So thank you very much eh, For listening So hopefully kita jumpa lagi dalam lesson yang akan datang uh, Pada minggu yang akan datang Okay So dengan itu with that Thank you very much Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, kita jumpa lagi dalam next lesson.